what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween H2O Michael Myers 6 scale figure now this figure was already released like months ago but I'm just now picking it on up <laughs> now I do remember seeing this like in the theaters like when it was originally released like in 1998 I remember seeing it like a bunch of times I'm sure like at least five times or even more if I'm not mistaken in the theater I remember like my, my anticipation for a scene because Jamie Curtis was back in it too as well. I remember I was just out of high school too as well. And I was like my introduction kind of started the end of the song. And I remember hearing that they was going to be having like a Halloween H2O film. We went at the trailer release like on online and stuff. I remember all that very well. And yeah, I always thought this was a pretty, uh, now I must admit it's been like a while since I watched it. Cause I used to have it like on DVD like a long time ago and I do remember like that the commentary, it said it had a commentary for uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and I think the director if I remember correctly. And it was, it was never on a DVD, I remember that too cause I even had that same DVD that said the commentaries on it but it didn't have it. But yeah, it's been like a while since I watched this particular film so. But anyway, I'm gonna get into this uh, right now. So as you can see, this is the box art which contains the uh, H2O 20 years later Michael Myers figure now of course this is based on the uh, theatrical poster for uh, Halloween H2O as you can see it says uh, it's going to be one hell of a family reunion <laughs> you can see Jamie Curtis all the uh, actors and actresses on the cover Michael Myers right there and that's the Halloween H2O on the side too as well and of course on the back you have an image of like Michael Myers. There you go, you can also open this on up. You can see the inside of this one. You can see Michael Myers on the inside. It also has like a read up and say he's dead. Michael Myers is dead. <laughs> so I'm going to open this on up and I like this packaging as usual with the uh, Trick or Street Studios Halloween figs, Michael Myers figures. I like how they give us like the theatrical posters like on their box art. So I think these are so beautiful. I have to get into this right now. And this is the background. It comes with the uh, H2 figure. You can see the shadow of Michael Myers walking up. That's <laughs> pretty cool. And as usual Trick or Treat Studios doesn't give us a stand. But I always pick up these kind of stands for my figures. Like this is like a U style stand, as you can see. So I just put these on it for like the figure. And I wonder, since they gave us like stands for like uh, Halloween, the original 78 Halloween, as you can see, like this logo, all the way up to uh, Halloween uh, 2018. I wonder if I we're going to still get ones for like, say, like part two, H two O and five and so on. This is just an example. But I wonder if we're going to get ones. Based like on those uh, particular films, you know, like with the, uh, the logo on it. <laughs> and now for the figure himself. <laughs> like I said, it's been so long since I watched H2O, you know. Oh, he feels kind of heavy too, like it's a little weight on him. See, yeah, we pass it around. Uh, I must admit, I can't even remember how. Completely accurate, like the likeness is to Michael Myers on this. On this figure, I see he's still kind of light around like the legs. Ah, there he is. <laughs> what I want to do first is uh, measure Michael Myers. So yeah, he's right at 12 inches. As you can see, looks like exactly two to twelve inches. So that's about the likeness to how he is in the film. You know, like in his uh, articulation and so on. Because I know this particular Michael Myers is played by her Christian around. So yeah, this is how he looks. But again, it's been so long since I watched H two O like a really a while. I think it was that accurate, you know, it really is. I do remember you can see his eyes real good, like the mask. That's how it is right here, as you can see. And yeah, I do remember he wore like kind of different masks throughout the film, you know. This is like the main one, you had the CGI mask. Okay, as you can see, this is how he looks. He has like this zipper too, right? Of course, you, know, you can zip this down or zip it up, like his coveralls. These are his hands too as well. 
course, he has the pockets too, right? And they put stuff in them that work in the pockets. Even on the back too, as well. Even on the front, he has like pockets. These are his shoes. It does like he got some weight to him too, I'm noticing. Now his arms can go up. I know he are still kind of, his legs are still kind of lightweight. He can bend the arm. So he does have a bend in the arm. He can kind of add crunch, but not much because he'll kind of fall over. He does have a bend in the leg too. Of course, the feet can turn, can rock and so on as well. Hands. The head can turn left, right, but look up. You can look down, so. And I noticed that these coveralls, like, they're kind of like an olive green. So I'm not, like I said, I can't really, um, the car could have been so long. So I watched this particular film, you know. I saw it like at least five times if I can remember correctly or more in the movie theater. <laughs> like back in like 1998. <laughs> now the Trick or Treat Studios, H2 of Michael Myers doesn't really get that many accessories. He just gets up three alternate hands, which you can see right here. It's like there's a left and right for these particular hands. And they have like veins like sculpted in them, into them too. They look kind of like dirty too, from what I'm seeing. Then he also has like a, uh, this hand here apparently for the knife, because he can hold a knife. And then lastly, he gets like uh, this one accessory, uh, well, one weapon, like they, uh, the bloody like kitchen knife or butcher knife, as you can see. So there's no question, this is for this particular hand. And it goes right on in too, as you can see, just put it right on in. I'm glad the Trick or Treat Studios got better like that, like the gripping hands for like the other knives or the accessories. Because you can see Michael, you can just put it on in there now, you don't have to loosen it or anything. <laughs> now I want to compare the H2O Michael Myers figure with the uh, 1978 Michael Myers figure from Trick or Treat Studios. Let's compare them. I'm glad the Trick or Treat Studios is doing is not giving us six scale Michael Myers figures. I think that is so awesome. <laughs> Next time I'm going to bring in the Harbin 2 from 1981 Michael Myers figure from the Trick or Treat Studios. <laughs> Next time I'm going to bring in the Harbin 4 from Trick or Treat Studios. <laughs> and here's the uh, Halloween 5 figure. <laughs> and then I'm next. The Curse of Michael Myers figure. So you now these are from Trick or Treat Studios. And then up next, the Halloween 2018 uh, Michael Myers figure right here, as you can see. Yeah, these are some awesome figures from uh, Trick or Treat Studios. If you're a fan of Michael Myers or like the Halloween films, um, that's where I recommend picking these on. Uh, I think they're really awesome. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there's the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween H2O 20 years later. Michael Myers sex girl figure. I think it's an awesome figure. And like I mentioned before, it's been a while since I watched uh, H2O. And I remember seeing it in the theater, I think at least like five times, so I can remember correctly or more. Like back in 1998 when it was originally released. And then you know this sequel was like a direct sequel. Even this was like one of those sequels that retcon. Like all the films and stuff, uh, stuff apart too from 1981. It was a direct sequel to Halloween 2 from 1981. So yeah, but now those have been retconned with the uh, Halloween 2018 film. You know, like none of those films like, are, cause are canon now because of the original. Halloween 2018 is a direct sequel to the original film. But yeah, uh, I always thought it was like a pretty solid film, you know. 
So yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend picking this particular figure on up. And I know that Trick or Treat Studios has more. Uh, they have the uh, Halloween Resurrection figure, and they also have, have uh, the Halloween Kills figure too. Six scale figures, like oh, based on those particular films too as well. I'm definitely looking forward to the uh, the Halloween Kills figure figure. And we also know that they have a. Uh, 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 Dr. Loomis figure on the way too as well. I don't know when Trick or Treat Studios is going to put that up for PR, but there's a Dr. Loomis six scale figure too on the way too. Now, that's definitely one of the ones I'm definitely excited about. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this on up. So this is the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween H2O 20 years later six scale Michael Myers figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.